Hey everybody, it is, believe it or not, the end of May already. So what is happening here in the South Bay housing market? Now, I had some predictions going into this year and we're already almost to the end of quarter two, which is pretty crazy. And so I'm going to go through the four market indicators that I like to look at to try to gauge the health of the marketplace. And I am going to look at single family homes for the beach cities. So El Segundo, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, and Redondo Beach. As always, if you have specific questions about your property, the city you live in, the type of housing you live in, then please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact info is linked below. Cell phone is 310-905-5774. And I would love to answer any housing market questions that you may have. All right, now let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing that we are going to look at is the number of active listings. And as you can see here in the chart, um, listings are going up month over month, which is what we would anticipate for this time of year. It's end of May, we're moving into summer months. And this is definitely the hot part of the market. So you can see in the chart, there were 181 listings in January, jump forward to April and there's 201. So we're definitely moving in the right direction. However, when you look at this chart year over year, we are still down 16% from this time two years ago. So there is still not a lot of inventory, which is creating a lot of interesting things in this market. I would anticipate that moving into June, July, we do see you know maybe a few more listings, but not too many. I think we're gonna stay right around this 200 mark. Second item, average days on market. So how many days from list until it was put into escrow and sold? So in January, you can see average days on market was 55, which is really high for this area. Um, April, we were down to 37, which when you look at the chart, you can see it's still pretty high average days on market for the last two years. However, I do think that this number is going to be going down dramatically in the next couple of months. Um, I have been noticing a lot of properties are selling for list price or over list price and they are moving quickly. So I think that this number is going to dramatically reduce in the next couple of months as buyer competition has seemed to pick back up again. Number three, median sales price. Now looking at this chart, January median sales price was 1.980. So 1 million. 980,000 and you can see there was a dramatic drop in February down to 1.6 million and then it picked back up again in March over 2 million a little bit close to 2 million point one two million and change basically picked back up in March to right under 2.1 million and then April went up again um, I think it's really interesting that there was such a dramatic drop from January to February and then it shot back up again. And again, I do think we're going to see an increase in this number. I think the median sales price is going to rise in the next couple of months. And I would anticipate that sticking for a few months. Number four is list price to sales price. So what did the home list for compared to what it sold for? Now, when we look at this chart here, you can see that from December to April, the sales price was lower than the list price. So maybe price reductions were happening, buyers were coming in and offering lower than list price. However, you can see that the gap is starting to get smaller. So list price is lower and sales price is higher. This gap is starting to close. Now you can see for May, already it's looking like maybe sales price is going to be higher than list price. I do think that when the month closes out, that is 100% going to be the case. Most houses, again, especially if they're turnkey and in good condition, we are seeing them sell quicker and multiple offers. So we will see what happens with the May, but I'm pretty sure that we are going to see sale price be higher than list price just based off the activity I have been noticing lately. Now we're almost at the end of May. So in about a month's time, we will be doing the market update again for May to update and see what direction, but I think the market is pretty hot. I would say overall, if you have a really expensive listing, you know, maybe a strand listing, something that's over 8 million, these are moving a little bit slower. 
things under I'd say 5 million are moving pretty quick, especially if they are turnkey. I think we're going to continue moving in that direction. So we will see what happens next month. Thank you again for checking out my video. And I am Carissa Wright. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, comments, want to know about your home or the market that you live in. My contact info is below. It's never too soon to reach out if you're thinking about buying or selling. Always happy to have a conversation with you. And I will see you guys next month.